I know you're overworked. I'm just saying this auditorium could use a little bit more of your attention. I mean, there's gum in half of these seats. Don't blame me. Blame the parents. They let Johnny and Susie run wild, but Johnny and Susie can't read. It's an American tragedy. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, I'm supposed to give Rachel and Sam a piano lesson. I, I can't find them anywhere. I spotted them in the courtyard, sharing a hot, soft pretzel with honey mustard. I'm no psychic, but I predict another tempestuous, sexy, glee club romance. Speaking of which, I will leave you to ex-lovebirds alone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Everything. Okay, everything is wrong. Dave has dated, like, every guy with facial hair in the greater Midwest. And evidently, we're related. Wait, what? Yeah, Sue went on one of those ancestry websites and she discovered that Dave and I are third cousins. Blaine, that there is no universe where you and Karofsky are related. Sue is obviously just trying to get you guys to break up so we get back together. Why can't she and everyone else just understand that, yes, you were my first love. And you were mine. But I just think, like you always say, we're probably better off as great friends, you know? Well, I'm glad that we could be adult about this. Yeah. In full disclosure, I've actually met a really nice guy online, and uh, we have our first date tonight. Oh. Well, that's awesome. That's, um, I hope that goes really well. Yeah, uh, well, you know, he damn well better know that he is on a date with America's most eligible bachelor. Um, I, I gotta go. Um, I, I really gotta get going. I gotta find those guys. Um, it was good to, good oh, to yeah, see you. Oh, you too. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, the, um... You too, you too. Yeah.